What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to how this Mexican city celebrates its Filipino roots, Balatang America. Balatang. Balatang. Balatang America. -A -A um, so this one was suggested down in, our, in the Discord, which the link will be down in the description. Um, I want to say it was either done by Juan de la Cruz or... Uh, who's the other one? I, I'm pretty sure it was Juan that suggested. We'll go back and put your name right here. Yeah. Um, and to be honest with you, there's like two or three superstars that constantly post a bunch of suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, but so this one you. popped out to me because I'm Mexican, at least half. <laughs> and uh, so it's cool to see that there's like a true tie between Mexico and and Philip the Philippines yeah guys before we hop into this video if you would go ahead and give this video a like helps get the video out to more people and in return helps the channel also if you would go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon that way you guys are informed the next time we do post a video and if you'd like to help the channel even further you can click the support or the, the join button and help support the channel the support button yeah the support we need a support <laughs> button just <laughs> support <laughs> click support me all right let's hop in let's do it and this is a short video, so uh, at least this will be a quick one for y'all. You're not going to have to sit through a long video. Yeah, and excuse my outfit. I'm on my lunch break at work. Let's turn on subtitles. If there is any. Oh, no. Oh, man. Let's see what it says. Let's okay. keep on going. And many other cultural oh, goodness. <laughs> dance group Parangal are familiar to Filipinos and those of Filipino heritage. But not for this audience. Here in the municipal palace of Colombia. I like Mexico, the old school vibe of that town. Like this, so as somebody that's actually to been to Mexico quite a bit. Heritage, but not for this audience. It's kind of sad is what it is. Yeah. So a lot of this style buildings and stuff in Mexico is very common with it being torn down or halfway d torn down. Um, like what I was telling him, because my dad actually wants to take him into Mexico to visit where, uh, where my dad's from. And, uh, you know, one of the things I was telling him, I was like, it's pretty bad because in some parts, the housing, like, I want to say some of these probably don't even have, like, you see this one, this one might have a front door, might not. Well, that so, one's missing a roof down there. Yeah, so like you, uh, like this one does definitely doesn't have a front door. So this is probably someone's home. To put that into perspective, so like I've got we got family friends that live down in Mexico that literally have no front doors, no windows, barely a roof over the head. Usually they'll put tin up there just mm -hmm. to cover it up, but it, it's it's very very poor for a lot of people and I hope to see that change but I don't know if I will personally no so this is very very typical throughout Mexico it's very sad but some of it is beautiful and the culture is amazing yeah so, and the foods it's like ridiculous so in the municipal palace of Colima Mexico a cultural program like this serves as a textbook come to life Antes de este momento uh, todo había quedado a nivel de documentación a nivel de archivos tenemos un Oh for un our Filipino viewers I might need to read this for them uh, before today everything we knew were just documented in our archives we have a municipal archive here with stories about the first presence of the Filipino community here in this region, in Colima in particular. What we saw today was so all of us could find out, so the kids could find out the richness of the Philippines as a country. For years, Omar Suarez Aizar and his fellow Colimenses have heard of Filipinos, Filipino culture, and the shared history between the Philippines and Mexico That's awesome due that to the they Manila Galleon it. trade, mm -hmm. the first global system of commerce that lasted from 1565 to 1815. So I will say this. So I was in Spain a few years back, and I went to a place called Museo de Prado, which is a museum. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, there was some tourists. I don't know what country they were from, uh, but the 
the guide going through the museum, he was also Asian. So he was translating is what he was doing. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was really strange as, as an American speaking English, because I know lots of there's tons of Asians in our country. And hearing somebody with a Spanish, like España Spanish accent and Asian, like you're not used to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you, well, you, it's you, like, yeah. You hear the hard uh, well, it's, Asian it's, English accent or they speak English really well, American English, or they're, they're, they have their national accent speaking English. But right. seeing them speak Spanish, I was like... It's like seeing a cat bark. Yeah. Like it threw me off. I was just like, I'm not used to this. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. This centuries long trade resulted in much more than an exchange of goods, but also cultural, linguistic, and gastronomic similarities. Here in Colima, a lot of us are aware that uh, what is a very traditional beverage for us that we call tuba is an inheritance that we have from the Filipinos. Hmm. Because when the Spanish arrived here, there were not coconut trees here. Some of the Filipinos that came to Colima in that uh, ship that was doing the, the journey from the Philippines to Acapulco, they Acapulco. arrived here to the Colima area, and they were the ones who taught it's us a beautiful how area. to get the sap of the coconut tree. highlighting Philippine dance and culture may be a first at Kalima City Hall, but it doesn't seem to be the last. With young students seeing and learning firsthand the shared the stories of waving. Mexico and the Philippines. Ballet, the Performing the for the kids is one of our favorite things to do, so we were really glad that we were so happy that when we walked in, all the kids here were just cheering and happy to see what uh, what we were wearing. And again, this is part of our mission, and we're really glad that we were able to see from the younger generation all the way to um, the elders and of the community here and be able to share our culture. The cultural program is part of a week-long celebration commemorating the 455th anniversary of the first round-trip voyage of the Manila Galleon trade to the Philippines that coincides with a special exhibit called Influencia Filipina en Colima and culminated with a formal program in Bara de Navidad, the exact location of the maiden round-trip voyage of the Manila Galleon trade. Ginger Conejero, ABS-CBN News. That's really cool. It's cool that they recognize that and and they do teach, um, you know, the younger generation the Filipino roots. That That's really cool. Yeah, especially if you're, like, mixed, you know. I yeah. mean, because I'm sure a lot of those people are very, you know, like 50-50. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, so I'm sure a lot of those people that are, you know, from that area that, because you could definitely tell the Filipinos, the ones that are more Filipino than, uh, Mexican. Right. Yeah. You can definitely tell the difference. So I just think it's cool. I, I'm actually happy we can watch this. It's yeah. It's really awesome. No, I am too. And those type of, uh, you know, traditional dances and things like that. Those are some things that I definitely want to see in these different countries, because again, that's, that's what this channel is, is meant for is to share different cultures and, and things that happen in these different cultures. And, and so Facts. those are what I'm excited to see in person. The show. All right, guys, if you're still watching, please hit the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Uh, please, if you want to see the future videos, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. And if you want to support us directly, there's a join button and you can join our membership program. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.